Oh, that's a cue ball. I love these guys. That little thing right there, that little cow head belt buckle, I thought that was a diaper. Babu's Game Room. All right, hello everyone. I'm back. It's just Chris here again. Last time I got my poke flute and caught Snorlax. And now I'm going on Cycling Road, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. I was so happy when I found Cycling Road in the original game because... It's cool. You, you get to ride your bike and you get moved automatically. It's so fun. Anyways, I'm going through it without healing. I know that there are a bunch of bikers and other trainers who use poison type and fighting type Pokemon, which is why I brought my Ghastly, Devium, who is ghost and poison type, perfect for fighting fighting types and also very defensive against ghost types. He'll be really good with his Nightshade with only 15 power points. I guess that's a little bit of a downside. I brought Cable because I know down at the bottom there are some bird bird catchers or whatever they're called and I hope that level 24 is not too low to fight them but if I switch to cable first he should be fine there is stinger with his bug type attack which is super effective against poison type in generation one and I have Marcel and Snoozly my two psychic types Snoozly of course just evolved last episode he is a hypno and that's awesome with a 72 special stat I like that he also has headbutt which is normal type and I call that coverage I don't know if there's a psychic type then hypno can fight them without getting knocked out and of course I have my starter Florian who is only level 27 falling behind a little bit because I didn't use him at all pretty much in the last episode where I went through Pokemon Tower where his attacks were virtually useless and I caught the Snorlax that was sitting here. I called him Boo, just two letters, B-U, because I have a Pokemon now with a two-letter name. And I'm excited. Oh, what's up here? I don't I don't remember this, actually. <laughs> I forgot that I can look out this area. Long path over the water, that's where I'm going right now. That looks... I thought that was a little girl. Oh, I guess that's... This is a little girl. That's a little boy. Oh, that's so cute. They're going on a date. Sometimes our students, they have their little, little love, love things that little, little kids have. They're, they're elementary school age, so they're really young. Sometimes I try to sit them together because, uh, <laughs> that's what teachers do sometimes. You, you know, you put the kids together. Oh, there's my bicycle. Other times I have to keep them apart because they, uh, <laughs> they, they bother the other students and, and me and, and sometimes each other make, make themselves dumb. You know, that, that's how kids are sometimes. You have to find the right balance. Anyways, I think there are 16 trainers here. I'm, I, I looked up how many there are because I love that sprite. <laughs> I looked up how many there are because I don't want to miss any and it'll take me a really long time if I'm just going up and down over and over again. So this is number one out of 16 and I hope I can find them all in one go with no problem. Okay, so I think I will use Lick a lot with Devium until he learns Hypnosis, just so that I can save the power points for Nightshade when there's an actual emergency. Now this is a great place to level up your Ghastly, because normal attacks don't hurt it, fighting attacks don't hurt it, and poison type attacks barely hurt it, and it can't be poisoned itself. And I think what I did actually one time when I was playing Pokemon Yellow and I was doing an Ash run of the game where I just catch all of Ash's Pokemon and battle all of the gyms the way that Ash does it, which is really, really difficult sometimes because Ash is kind of dumb and the anime doesn't follow the rules of the game very well. Anyways, that meant that I needed to obtain a Haunter and take it to fight Sabrina in Saffron City. And what I did was I used, I used Cycling Road here to level grind my Haunter to a ridiculously high level. And then I took him to Nightshade everything in Saffron Gym. It, well, it worked, I think. I think it, it worked in the end. <laughs> because if you guys have played Pokemon Yellow, you might remember that Sabrina is hard. Her team is straight level 50s, just three level 50 Pokemon. And at that level, even, even a Kadabra can sweep your team at level 50, basically. Okay, that's not doing that much damage, so I will just use one Nightshade. But this is how easy it is to level up your Ghost-type Pokémon here. I think all of the trainers can be done like this. And if I were to do that, I... Well, I probably couldn't do it without healing, because Ghastly would run out of power points pretty quickly. This guy's asking for my bike. Why does he want my bike? I guess because it was a million... Oh, that's a cue ball. I love these guys. That little thing right there, that little that little cow head belt buckle, I thought that was a diaper. <laughs> I was a kid, I thought that was a diaper. 
and I really don't know what else to say. I thought it was a diaper. I legitimately thought it was a diaper, and I was like, why is this big, huge guy wearing a diaper? And yeah, I, I have no words. I thought it was a diaper. I'm just going, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Doesn't, did anyone else see that? Did anyone else legitimately think that that was a diaper? I will switch to Stinger, who doubly resists his fighting attacks, and I just realized that I won't be able to do much damage to him because Twin Needle is a bug attack and he can resist bug attacks, but Fury attack might be alright. Did I confuse it first? I don't know. Yes, I, I think I did, and confuse was what was doing most of the damage. Oh, five times! That was really nice. Okay, if he gets a critical hit, then Stinger might faint, but... Okay, good. Now, Twin Needle is more accurate, so I will use that one. Okay. Alright. Devium is already starting to level up. And so is Stinger, wow! I'm happy. Okay. Cable is really weak defensively. <laughs> Probably not as bad as Twinkle, the one that I gave to Safia. But I don't want to risk switching him in, especially when I know that I'm going to need him at the very end of this this challenge. Oh, and this is trainer number two of 16. Yeah, the cue ball. Okay, good. He's paralyzed and he's confused. Should I do it? Maybe I'll use one nightshade first and maybe let him become freshly confused before switching to Cable. Ah, whatever. Okay, Cable, do not die or I will be very disappointed in you. But you're not like that. You, you don't faint like... Okay, good. <laughs> you don't faint like Twinkle does. Cable is a stronger Pikachu, I think. Okay, and Cable leveled up. All right. And back to Devium. All right, cue ball. See, there's there's that diaper. That is definitely 100%. Wow. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like level 28 or something, but level 25 is awesome too. I have a haunter. Oh, actually, I should have let him stay as a ghastly so that he could learn his moves more quickly. Because he doesn't need those extra stats. Oh yeah. Why why did he want my bike anyways? This is this is like a Regular, regular plain old bike. He's got a motorcycle. I don't know. Okay, I'll put Cable first so Cable gets a little bit more experience. And here is number three of 16. Cue ball. Okay. Yeah, these levels are a little bit scary, but with the Pokemon that I have, I don't think I have anything to be worried about. That's actually pretty strong for a regular, plain old, normal type attack that's probably gonna hit five times. Well, I got lucky with Fury attack. I guess I gotta, gotta accept the... Oh, come on. And he's faster. Okay, it's a good thing Snoozly is stronger now that he evolved. Okay, I'm just gonna take the easy way out and let Haunter do this. Maybe his licks will be a little bit stronger now. Let's, let's test that theory. I can't see any difference. And I have only 10 Nightshades left. And these Pokémon have a lot of health. They always stay with one health left, and then I need to waste another power point to get rid of it. Okay, cue ball. Get away from me with your stinky diaper. These guys have a lot of money, though, these gangsters. Okay, what is this? Number three? Here is number four. Four of sixteen. Yeah, I just bumped him because I have my million yen bike. Million yen is about... Wow. Ten thousand dollars. He has a wheezing. He has a wheezing. It's level 33. That thing probably has self-destruct. That is why I wanted to bring my ghost type. Because self-destruct, explosion, that will... That would just be terrible. And I might even end up just struggling with <laughs> Devium if he runs out of power points. Because, because uh, self-destruct would be catastrophic against anything else that I have. Now he's paralyzed. And it seems like it's the perfect time to switch away. But then if I do that, he is going to use self-destruct and get like a critical hit. That's just how Pokemon works sometimes. But at least he's hitting himself a lot. I'm running out of power points pretty badly for DVM though. I really hope he gets another ah, attack soon. And of course, critical hit when he has one HP left, of course. 600 experience each is awesome though. Okay. Yeah, kaboom. Yeah, I knew you were planning that. Oh yeah, yeah, so I'm going this way, Safia went the other way. I really like how much this game opens up. It's huge contrast to Pokemon Sword and Shield and actually pretty much all of the games since like Generation 5 where you can only go one way and only one way and 
If you're lucky, there's like an extra cave you can go into that's optional, but usually not even that. I'm gonna use Florian actually and see how Florian does. Level 33 is really high though. So anyways, Safia went down the, the water route and I'm going down this way and hopefully this will add a little bit of, of spice to our competing Let's Plays here. That's really strong. <laughs> and then we're both gonna end up in Fuchsia City and then I'm probably gonna battle her and I'm gonna, gonna use the same team as last time and just go a little bit easy on, easier on her and see if she can beat me. And then if she can, then I will spice up my team a little bit, switch it around for the next time that we battle, and that was a really bad critical hit. And if I beat her again with the exact same team, and I'll tell her that I'll use, use the exact same team. Ooh. Okay. I'm faster, right? Okay, good. So if I beat her, then she will get some hardcore training sessions so that I can teach her how to battle other trainers. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Yeah, that, that tore up my Ivysaur pretty good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's, oops, not this way. Oh, now they all came back here. Okay, so five out of 16. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. Now, if you don't know why I counted the trainers beforehand, it's, y y you're gonna see pretty soon. Oh, this guy has a lot, okay. I think that means it's time for Marcel to come out. And as long as Marcel doesn't get... Oh, no. As long as he doesn't get critical hitted or poisoned or disabled, uh, could have been worse. Then he might be able to sweep this guy. And with his boosted experience, he might gain some nice levels. I'm a little bit sad that I can't use another barrier. I wanted to use one more. But I guess if the Grimers don't do anything, then that's even better. Level 27. All right, maybe I can take him out in one hit now. Yeah. Oh, critical hit. Okay. But that's okay, too. And disabled no more at the end of the battle, of course. Hopefully the end. Come on, no crit. Okay. Okay, six out of 16. I have 10 trainers left. It's a lot. Oh, and there are no new Pokemon for me to catch on this route. I remembered that Ponyta is only here in Pokemon Yellow. Okay. Celadon to Fuchsia City. All right, let's go. Let's start on the left. And I'll stop anytime there's some kind of landmark. Okay, here. I'm going automatically. So if I go back up, I, I get pushed by the hill because I'm on a hill right now. Okay. Now this guy. Do I still have cable first? Yes, I do. Okay. Now he gets to ride his bike all the way back up here. Does he have a motor on his bike? I don't know, but he can do that. I can't do that so easily, which is why I counted them. Because going back and missing somebody, that would be really difficult. Ah. Weezings are so scary anytime you're doing any kind of nuzlocke or some kind of run where you're not healing or whatever. Because not only do they have self-destruct, but they can learn explosion. And explosion, that's, <laughs> it's stronger than self-destruct. And it can critical hit, it can knock out your Pokemon so easily. So I really hope Deviam doesn't run out of power points before the trainers over here run out of Weezings. And they have so much health, so Nightshade doesn't do as much damage as I'd like. But, oh, come on! Again, again, again. Come on, hurt yourself, please. I don't want to use another... Oh, Sledge, okay. Oh, yeah, Sledge is really powerful. Okay, at least Cable is leveling up. Ooh, Swift, okay. Do I want Swift? Okay, no Swift. And Deviam leveled up, all right. Okay, I don't think level 28 Coughing has self-destruct, but he might have Sludge. Oh, Poisoned. Oh, that's gonna be bad here. Okay, Marcel leveled up. Almost at the end of his life. Ooh. Okay, I still have Snoozly. I'm going to see how far I can make it without without using any items. Which means I'm going to have to sacrifice Marcel, which is okay. Because he has boosted experience. So if I want to level him up, I can still do that. I can still do that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I do not have revives, so 
If something bad happens, then I cannot revive anyone. And if he gets a critical hit and knocks out DVM, that's very, very bad. Okay. I'm running out of power points on almost all of DVM's attacks. One of my Pokemon has fainted, and I'm a little bit worried. Oh, all of that experience for DVM. So I think this is number 7 out of 16? There's another one. I'll... 7... Oh, there's the grass here. 7... Oh, there's a lot in the grass. Okay, well I see this one. 8. This is the halfway point, and we'll see how my team is able to do it after this. Okay, I really cannot do this without using items, unfortunately. So, that was always part of my plan, to use items and not use the Poke Center. So I've used one item, and I'm making my way through half of the trainers here, and I didn't know that Machop could learn Leer. Okay. Mmm. And he lowered my defense successfully. Okay. Oh, well at least that won't stack with any critical hits, but that Machoke, this is probably the ugliest sprite in Generation 1, in the Western releases at least. I think Machoke has the ugliest sprite. And knock itself out please. Leer again? Okay, I can live with that too. Okay. Now, I'm actually a little bit worried if Snoozly levels up too much and he wants to learn Psybeam or something, because that has fewer power points than Confusion. Actually, maybe for this route I should use Confusion a lot. Yeah, he could belly bump me out of here, even uh, uh, in my adult form. That guy with a huge diaper, a huge guy with a huge diaper, he is, he's big. Well, anyways, that's, that's what I'll, what I will do. No money in fighting kids. You think so, you think so, but I have a lot of money and if you can beat me, you get <laughs> a lot. I don't know what the equivalent would be, $150, maybe, okay. I really don't want to risk Cable, and I really want his level to go up. So I'm going to risk Snoozly instead, who thankfully has good defense. Now if I brought Arilu and tried to use Arilu this way, it would be a lot more risky. Okay, Fury Swipes, don't hit too many times. Actually, even five times is manageable, as long as it's not five with a critical hit. Manageable, but not preferable. Come on! Okay, okay, okay. At least Mankeys go down in one hit. Okay, level 27. Prime Ape. That's another ugly one. Look at that. Look at those eyes. Oh! Yeah, I thought so. Oh no, this this could knock out Snoozly. Okay, thank you, Prime Ape. You took mercy on me. This is lemonade territory. <laughs> and now it took extra mercy on me. Okay. Well, Snoozly is gonna level up a lot. Too bad poor Marcel will have to do some level grinding if I want him to get to level 30 for my battle with Safia. Yeah, Cycling Road is one of those places where you have to use your item finder if you want to get some good stuff. But I am not going to do that. Okay, so that is number... 9. Number 9. Yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of 16. Okay, here's number 10. Highway Stars! Oh! That brings back memories of Rock Band 1. That was the that was the introductory song that played during the cutscene, the opening cutscene of the first Rock Band, so very nostalgic for me. And I really hope that this muck here is not going to make me wish that I used, or, the, or that I kept Swift. So hopefully Cable is not at risk here. Oh, now I can't even put it to sleep, okay. Okay, that's all right. Okay, good. I'm just gonna confuse it to death, and okay, that's good damage. Okay, I, I feel fine now. And this is number 10, 10 of 16, and he didn't, he didn't do anything to me. Okay, that went well. Are you looking for adventure? That sounds kind of creepy, actually. Okay, so I'll try this, this path. That was 10, 10, 10, 11. Oh, this must be a cue ball, if he needs exercise. Yep. Okay, good. It's only level 26. And again, I'm gonna paralyze it, because this one is a lower level. It probably isn't too dangerous to Cable. I don't like that Leer, though. Oh, boy. Okay, well, if I switch now, nothing happened. And I get to run a, run through Snoozly's confusion power points in preparation for him learning a new psychic attack. Hopefully. Okay, good. One hit KOs on these. Maybe not on this one. 
I'll play it safe. Okay, that was a wise move. And Snooze Lee is getting stronger. Which means this is going to be a one-hit KO. Yeah, okay, good. Now, since I already broke the... the my chance at doing this without any items, any item usage... Oh yeah, he definitely lost weight there after he emptied his diaper. So I'm going to heal up Florian because I want Florian to be my strongest Pokemon. And... He's actually catching up to Zokfot Pick, which was that Doug Trio that I caught. Finally! So my strongest Pokemon will be a Pokemon that is, you know, something that I, I like. Ooh! Oh, I can press A or B to stay on a slope. I learned something new in this game, even in 2020. 2020. 2020, 2020, hindsight. The year of hindsight, the year of perfect vision. I can stay still on the slope by holding A or B in Pokemon. <laughs> this feels like when I when I learned about the Mew glitch. Wow. There's always something new. Okay. Oh, did I beat him because he's looking around? Okay. I, I lost count. I think that was number 11, and this will be number 12. Uh-oh. Why is he attacking with Voltorbs? They're gonna have self-destruct. Sonic Boom? Oh no! Okay, I am going to heal him up because I'm really hoping that he is just going to come out and use Explosion, self-destruct, and that'll be the end of that. Oh man. I thought I'd be immune to Voltorbs since I only learn normal type attacks, but I completely forgot about Sonic Boom. Come on, and I know that the first thing that'll happen when I switch is that he's going to use self-destruct. Ooh, okay. Paralyzed and confused. One more lick. Okay, confused no more. Okay, I can no longer lick. I am out of licks. Deviant can no longer paralyze Pokemon, but he leveled up. Come on, Hypnosis. Okay, I guess probably before level 30, I would hope. Okay, Florian, you have, you have pretty good defense, okay? You still have pretty good defense. You don't have good defense. Oh no, Florian. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, he tells you where to catch Voltorb. Okay, that's pretty nice of him. I already have one though. Okay. Now I am angry. I think that was number 12 of 16. That means only four more of these stupid guys left. And I just wanted to level up. Florian as well. Now Snoozly is going to be my strongest Pokemon and not my starter. Oh, and this guy hints that Machoke is not a regular level up kind of Pokemon. I like how they do that. They they tell you that these, these Pokemon will evolve and they don't evolve by level. It's nice that they hint at that, whereas in the, the modern games, Pokemon have such strange methods of evolution that you would never think to try because you're supposed to learn about them from the advertisements or whatnot and the trailers about how to evolve the Pokemon. Except he gives you the wrong idea. An elemental stone to evolve a, a Machoke? You can buy them at Celadon City, just ride your bike up the hill, but I, I guess he's too, too heavy to do that. Oh, Florian, and I was, I was gonna switch back to DVM just to see if he even has self-destruct, but I thought, no, maybe they don't have self-destruct. And okay, I think this guy is number 14, and I really hope I'm not counting because I don't want to ride my bike all the way up, up the hill. So I think this is number 14. Number 14. And that's just on cycling road here. There's a few more trainers after, after this, which I hope I'm gonna have enough of a team left to beat. This is getting a little bit scary. Well, I'm out of super potions, which means I have a little bit more bag space, which is nice, I guess. Okay, lowering my defense. That's fine, I guess, because what I'm really worried about is your critical hits, and you lowered your critical hit rate. I guess that goes along well with Leer, so maybe that was a decent strategy. I guess it could have been, could be, maybe. Okay, let's play it safe here. Good. Okay, now stay asleep. Stay asleep. Good, thank you. Okay. I really like Hypno. I used one before when I played Pokemon Red last time, and it's a fun alternative to use instead of Kadabra or Alakazam, which everyone likes to use instead. He's a little bit more defensive physically, so you can switch into him, and he has a sleep move, which Kadabra doesn't have. Now he doesn't get 
a recovery move, uh, uh, unless you count Dream Eater, but still, overall, pretty cool, pretty cool alternative. Now, I think I just need to get 15 and 16, numbers 15 and 16. Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs. Yeah, don't throw your Game Boys, kids. Or your Super Game Boys. Okay, is this 15? Number 15 here. I hope that I have enough power points to stall him out here. And I really do not know if he has self-destruct. And if he does, he is not going to use it against my Devium who is going to get hurt by that sludge. Oh, okay. I don't know how many more Weezings there are, but hopefully I can at least take out this one with the attacks that I have left. I think I've got two more Nightshades. Come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. If you hurt yourself once, it'll be okay. I can I can knock you out with Nightshade. You're not confused anymore. Okay, my Haunter can only struggle now until he learns Hypnosis or something else. It would be cool if they... Ooh, muck. Oh! Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I guess it's not a big deal. I thought it would force me to select one of my zero power point moves and then it would give me that option, but no. But that's okay because he has not used Minimize yet. Awesome. Oh, I had a bad feeling that would happen. But that's okay, I still have some antidotes with me. I threw out all of my awakenings though. Well, actually I sold them because I have the Poke Flute now. So I don't need to use a single awakening or full heal for any of my Pokemon that are asleep for the rest of the game. Yeah, the slope makes it hard to steer, and that's why Snoozly lost one health, where there, there are my antidotes. Snoozly? Okay. Cured of poison. Awesome. Now, look back up here. That was either number 14 or 15. So, when I came to Korea, I obviously did not bring my bicycle or any other form of transportation, because <laughs> why would I? And I have not ridden a bicycle in almost two years now, since I was in Canada last, last, last summer, summer 2018. And I miss that! <laughs> and it also has a dedicated bike trail, again, that there are no motor vehicles on, which is even difficult to find sometimes in Toronto. In the Okay, so that was a little bit of a bummer. I think the recording got corrupted, so I think I might have only lost one battle. I'll try to <laughs> keep what I can in there. That happened before, so I, th I think what I'm going to do now is set a little timer that'll alert me every time half an hour has passed, since it seems at the 45 minute mark, that is where the recordings seem to mess up. Usually after or around the 45 minute mark is where those problems start to occur. So half an hour should be safe. Oh, people swimming. I'm looking, I'm looking south now. That's cool. Oh, this is how I get Lickitung, okay. I need to keep that in mind for later. I'm really glad that nothing has happened to the recordings of Safia's Let's Play yet. I don't know what the damage is on mine so far, but hopefully not too much. The audio is still there, especially when I'm talking, so I think I was just talking about Okay, always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Not this time, I don't think you have anything new for me here. I think it's just a duo, and I already have one. But when I go out east from Fuchsia, that is where I'm gonna be looking for new Pokemon. Safia caught her Venonat just recently, so that'll be exciting when I catch one of those and probably never use it. Maybe to replace Pocha. I hate Pocha. Drill Peck. Okay, Cable, you resist it. Ooh, not very effective. What are you talking about there? Okay, it looked like there were three or four trainers. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let Devium take a hit. Cause what else do I do? I need to heal Cable and I don't want Cable to get hurt. Awesome growl. Okay, maybe I'll just, uh, I will let Devium faint. Oh, struggle. And then Firo can mirror move struggle. That's awesome. Firo used struggle. It doesn't affect Devium. <laughs> That's awesome. Does he not have drill peck? Growl, mirror move. This is kind of funny. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna heal Devium. I'm gonna struggle. I like this. It's funny. <laughs> Mirror move, growl, fury attack. Oh, that's why struggle isn't doing as much damage. It growled me. I like how struggle is actually a viable move in generation one. It hits everything except for ghost types. It does damage similar to tackle and it hits with recoil to show you that it's not a good idea. But it, it actually does fair damage, unlike in the, the newer games where it does one quarter of your health as recoil no matter what. I like when it was a strategy. Okay, so he's stuck here because he doesn't have a bike. He can probably fly though, so he doesn't need a bike. Okay, three trainers. 
Yeah, this is the bird keeper, bird keeper territory, bird keeper turf. So I guess it's not so bad that Florian isn't alive to see these battles. Okay, come on. All right. Now Cable can get close to level 32. That's nice. Oh no, Cable got hit with Thundershock. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm really happy that Safia actually got some mileage out of Mirror Move on her Sparta because it's really, really, really situational. And in game, there's probably not many instances where you would ever want to use it. But if your opponent misses a status inducing move, oh, this is risky, that, <laughs> the, that they aren't immune to. Oh, that was good. Then how did I begin that clause? If you get to use Mirror Move in one of those situational circumstances that I just, just described and forgot how I began that clause, then it is a fun move to use. I think that made sense. Mirror Move failed. Awesome. Yeah, because you have no more Pokemon to switch to. This is your last one with your four, four birds. Okay. I think there's only one left. Is that it? Is that really it? Is that it? Okay. Awesome. Okay, he gives a bird call. Now, if there's not too many Pokemon... Oh, he only has one. Dodrio, it's evolved! Okay, in that case, I'm just not going to use any items. I'm just going to paralyze it and hope for the best. Okay, that was just not cool. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit disconcerting. Okay, I need to sacrifice Stinger too, wow. So what, did I sacrifice two Pokemon? One was because I thought I could do it without items. One was self-destruct, and one... Ugh. And, and this one is because... No, it's not even a sacrifice at this point. Well, I get a free switch in on Snoozly. Oh, Stinger and Florian and Marcel. Those are some of my favorites. Oh no, it's game over if Snoozly can't beat him. What do I do? Okay, Hypnosis. Yes, yes. Oh, it took mercy on me. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, such a such a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, come on, Flash. Come on. Why can Flash even miss? I guess because it, it its eyes were closed while it was sleeping. But has three heads. One of them can be flashed. Okay. I don't have confusion powerpoints? And it growled me. Oh no. Do I have ethers? Should I use it? I should. Okay. That's the attack that I'm worried about. My other choice was to use an ether on... Oh, it's faster! It's, uh, it is faster, I forgot. I could have used it on Nightshade, because that'll do enough damage to Dodrio, but... Drill Peck would hurt Haunter a lot more than Snoozly, because Snoozly has decent defense, and... Oh, it's confused. Alright. And... Evium has terrible defense. But... I survived. Barely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, even though I wasn't using items. Oh, he has he has water Pokemon and flying Pokemon. That's awesome. Okay. So even though I was using items, my team took a really bad beating. Look, I've only got two Pokemon alive, and that last Pokemon was scary. I don't know why I got on the bike there. Because so I want to hear the music. Oh. Okay, the music's not that special. Is this Cerulean City? Maybe? Okay, well, I like how they show you, you know, everything that you need right at the start of the city. You've got your gym, you've got all of your houses, and well, I'm going to heal up. I'm going to talk to everyone here, because I like talking to everyone, and I'm going to say goodbye now. I have just entered my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the game, Fuchsia City. I keep saying my favorite part, I think, and my favorite Pokemon. Oh, they tell you how to get to the... Yeah, how to the Pokemon Pokemon League. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I really like this part of the game, but I am going to end right here. I'm actually going to explore the city in the next episode. 
I'm going to try to prevent any future recordings from getting corrupted. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my Let's Play. I'm glad to have you here. And I hope to see you guys next time when I battle Safia or do something else. I don't know. But anyways, have an awesome day and an awesome week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.